This tutorial is on how to solve series parallel combination circuits. Let's begin with this circuit. It's got five resistors. It's a DC circuit. And we'll use this as an example of how to solve for these uh, to find uh, resistance, total resistance, uh, current throughout the circuit, and voltage drops across those resistors. Okay, the first thing that we're going to do is, is take a look and draw the current path. We're going to use conventional current and realize that it travels from the positive of the voltage supply to the negative. goes All of the current travels through resistor 1, then it gets to this point where it splits. Some of the current goes this direction, and some of it goes the other direction. Meeting back together at this point where all the current flows through resistor 5 and back to the voltage supply. Okay, what drawing our current path does for us is help us realize which components are in series and which are in parallel. So right away we can see that when the current splits, we're going to have two in, in parallel. We've got resistor 2 and 3 that are in parallel with resistor 4. Okay, that combination of 2 and 3 and 4 is in series with resistor 1 and resistor 5. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is take a look and see are there any series resistors that we can combine together. Remember that resistors in series, you can just add the total resistances together. Resistor 2 and 3 look like that. They're just in series. So we're going we're gonna to say that we can put an equivalent resistance here and just add these two together. 10k ohms plus 4.7k ohms is 14.7k ohms. Another way you can do this is by doing a redraw method like this. So we could simplify our circuit to, to show resistor, resistor equivalent of 2 plus 3 is 14.7k ohms. Then it's easy to see that th that's in parallel with resistor 4. Resistors in parallel, you have to use one of two formulas to calculate the resistance. You can use the product over the sum formula if there's just two resistors. That would be resistor 1 times resistor 2 divided by resistor 1 plus resistance 2. Or uh, you can use a formula that will work no matter how many resistors you have in parallel, the 1 over 1 over method. I'll use that one. So we're going to say the resistance equivalent for these two in parallel would be 1 over 1 over resistor 2 plus 3, which is 14.7k ohms, or 14,700 ohms, plus 1 over 8,900 ohms, or 8.9k ohms. And if we do that math, we get 5.544k ohms, or 5,544 ohms. All right. Now, we could also simplify this circuit with a redraw and show that. Now, it's easy to see here that all three of these resistors are in series because the current only has one way through all of those resistors. So we can actually do a redraw of that and add those resistors together, the 10K plus the 5.544K plus the 500 ohms. Adds up to a total resistance of 16.044K ohms or 16,044 ohms. At this point we, re we can use Ohm's law to calculate the current. And here's a graphical representation of Ohm's law. Uh, voltage over current times resistance, or V over IR. So since we already know the source voltage and the total resistance, we can calculate the current. And doing that calculation gives us 1.870 milliamps. Again, that's 30 volts divided by 16,044 ohms. We get 1.870 milliamps. Now that we know the total current, let's work backwards through our redraws. Since all the current has to flow through resistor 1 and resistor 5, we know those are also 1.870 milliamps. We also know that the 1.870 milliamps flows through what would be the equivalent resistance of that parallel combination. We'll solve that a little bit later. Let's just take uh, current passing through resistor 1 and resistor 5 and redraw it clear back to the very beginning diagram. So we can redraw that on our second redraw and back to our first redraw as well. Now on this redraw, since on resistor 1 we already know the resistance and the current, again we can use Ohm's law to calculate the voltage. Since we know current is 1.870 milliamps and resistance 
is 500 ohms, we'll calculate the voltage. 935 millivolts. We can use the same Ohm's law to calculate the voltage for resistance 5, the voltage drop on resistance 5, and it's 18.7 volts. Now let's go back to one of our other redraws. Now there's two ways we can find the the voltage drop on the equivalent resistance of that parallel combination. One way is we know our source voltage is 30 volts. So if we subtract uh, 935 millivolts for resistor 1 and 18.7 volts from resistor 5, we're left over with what has to be on that combination. The other way to do it is also using Ohm's law. Since we know the resistance and we know the current, we can calculate the voltage. And the voltage would be 10.37 volts. Once we know the voltage on this this combination represented as one resistor, let's go backwards, work backwards through our redraws. Since we know 10.37 volts is on the both of these in parallel, and we remember the voltage drops on resistors in parallel have to be the same, we know that we have a voltage drop of 10.37 volts on resistor 4. Now that we know the voltage and resistance for resistor 4, let's use, you got it, Ohm's law, and we'll calculate the current for resistor 4. Now to calculate the current going through resistor 4, we have to remember that the current splits, some of it going the, through resistor 4, others going through the equivalent of 2 and 3. But since we know the voltage drop on resistor 4 and its resistance, we can calculate the current using Ohm's law. The current ends up being 1.165 milliamps. Since we know that uh, 1.165 milliamps is going through resistor 4 and we have a total current of 1.870 milliamps, then whatever's left over must be going through resistor 2 and 3. So we just do that subtraction and we find out that the current through resistors 2 and 3 is 705 microamps. Now that we know the current going through those resistor 2 and resistor 3, we have, again, two out of the three things we need for Ohm's law. So let's calculate the voltage drop on resistor 2. That would be 10,000 ohms times 705 microamps, which gives us 7.05 volts. We can do Ohm's law for resistor 3 also, getting 3.314 volts. And using Kirchhoff's voltage law, we can add up any voltages in series and uh, we come up with 30 volts, give or take a few rounding errors. And that's how you solve series parallel combination circuits. Again, it's, it's just a, a matter of reusing Ohm's law over and over and finding uh, what you need. You can use redraws as a technique to do that.